treat for you. Could be shaving with the uh, Ballet Auto Strap VC number three. And uh, let's see, there's basically four of them that are pretty easy to find. Most of them all are gold. Uh, the three and the four, I believe, hold the blade with wings on the side, like this and has these little punches and I'll show you just in a minute what them punches are for and then the uh, the two has a has a wing a flap a door that'll sit down over the blade and then the one is um, basically just a blade it'll uh, it'll take any blade uh, I believe this one was made somewhere around a 35 to 45 range and uh, it's an open cone but before the VC01, there were, uh, heck, I, I believe they made them all the way back in the early 1900s. Valet Auto Stripe did. But they're, they're pretty hard to find. I, I haven't seen very many of them. But today I'll be putting a uh, Feather SE blade in it. And this is the only blade now that'll fit in these. The VC01, you can uh, alter any single edge blade. I think you gotta take the spine off. This is spineless. And uh, the old, let's see, the old valet blade said valet on it. But I believe the um, feather come out with a razor. I think I heard that it actually took this blade. And I'm not, I don't think that says anything. The only bad thing about this blade is there's a lot of glue or uh, wax on this and you got to be very careful putting these in now let me show you this before if you're going to strop this you put a piece of leather through there and as you pulled it this way it would flip it over and then when you pull the piece of leather back this way it would flip it back over but i've heard nobody say they've had good luck with stropping a new blade. Maybe the vintage blade's done better. Older ones, all right. So basically, this can only go in one way. All right. Let the blade flip right now, but um, the notches fit down on it. Close the wings. Set it down. Make sure everything lines up with the blade. And then to lock the uh, lock the flap into place, all you do is just pull down on that. And it's ready to go. Then I'll be using the um, Jeremiah Street collection with it, followed up by the spray again. Love the scent. Then I'll be using the Holy Black Silver Tuck Badger. And any SE blade you get, or SE uh, razor, single edge razor, the angle is going to be different when you shave. The DE kind of rounds the uh, the uh, blade, kind of pushes it at an angle like this. The SE blade is like this, just like a straight razor. So you gotta gotta hold it more like a straight razor, more up that way. Love the smell of this stuff. It's like a a forger, forger, or whatever you say that, Foger. <laughs> It's uh, more. Well, it's really refined, like something like an aristocrat would wear. I believe the first couple of times I've shaved with this razor, I've uh, only done a two pass because the blade done so well. Make sure everything's right here before I put it up to my face. All right. So the angle, way about like that. Let's see. You see that angle? In any razor I use, I use very light pressure. No matter if it's a, a mild razor. I get BBS with a vintage tech and uh,
I used to have an R41 mule. And I can get BBS with that too. It's just all about the pressure. And angle. And if you notice, when I do my chin like this, I do change grips. Put my pinky down here, and I'm spreading my fingers out. And that gives me more balance when I go around the curve. Just like that. And if you haven't shaved with a single edge yet, most of them uh, will take the spine and most of them will have this big head like this. Your gems, your ever readies and everything. And you'll notice it's really hard to get up under your nose and just to see around everything. They're very, they're real cumbersome. So, um, but the good thing about them, they, they shape good. And I think the reason this Valley Auto Strap shaved so good is that Feather SC Spineless. I got mine at Conant, Conant Shaving. I just got a 10 pack just to try it out. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but you can tell kind of when Gillette took over Valley Auto Strops around the VC2. I think they called it the million dollar razor. Um, they started exclusively making uh, blades only for that. Gillette liked to uh, corner the market that way. I'm going to do a three pass today. Let's see how it works. This razor, this blade's good enough. I could use, I could do it too. But it's good to try different blades. And razors. Just see what you like. This is uh, not my favorite. I wouldn't want to use it every single day, but if I had to, I could. Another thing I wanted to mention this is gold. So if you find one of these and there is blemishes, tarnish coming out, I really don't know of a good way to get that out. You can take a steel wire brush or brass brush against this but this is gold very thin layer and it'll take uh take the gold off take to take the plating off so uh i kind of think of that as a uh, little historical markers just to make it look old now if you want to get one replated if you have a heirloom uh send it to razor emporium they'll replate it for you I've got a razor replated uh, in rhodium by Sports Shave down in Louisiana. He does a great job. Creams are usually a uh, relather for that. I just noticed that. Not as slick as soaps. I'd say this is about a five. 
and uh, my slim or fat boy. So why I'm using this is is because Rick DeWeese of Brush and Soap and Blade podcast went over the ones he had last month. And uh, if you don't listen to podcasts, you can get a free app called Stitcher on your uh, iPhone, or you can go straight to the uh, website, Brush and Soap and Blade. I think it's an N instead of an and. And he has about two years, I think, of, uh, of episodes. I got about a 40, 45 minute drive to work every morning and on the way home, so that's what I do. He comes out with one every Thursday. I listen to it on Saturday, but it's Thursday and Friday, not off day. Hope everybody's having a fun day at work today. But he has a lot of a lot of neat stuff. And if you have any questions, you can ask him. He'll, he'll find out the answer or give you the answer. I also listen to um, Wet Shaving News, Sharpologist put out. And then uh, a couple of them that are, that are non-wet shaving that I listen to is This American Life, Radio Lab, and Reply All. New series out called Serial. Season 2 is out already. You can listen to Season 1. It's pretty neat. Mystery show is pretty neat. But yeah, if you don't listen to Rick DeWeese, he's, he's great. Uh, he's on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. I think he's a big Twitter. Here, how do you say that? Now, if you notice, I have this angle really sharp. Because I feel like when I ran it up through here, I could easily get a weeper. That'll just pinch the skin. So it's cutting it with that sharp of an angle. If you do feel like you're getting really rough shades on your skin, only against the grain, uh, do that. Uh, get that head closer to your skin. And essentially just let the blade cut the hair instead of your skin. thing is blade look at there that's I mean I got one pickup right there not on this uh this is that blade is uh amazing this is a great razor anyway thanks for watching uh, if y'all have any questions about the uh valley auto strop just message me and uh, if you enjoy these single edge videos or some oddball shaves just, uh, just let me know also. Thanks for watching. Happy shaving. Y'all have a good day.